You know what? One of the things I like to do before I start recording, sometimes, not always, but once in a while I like to sit at the main menu where I'm trying to find my volume button and just listen to the main menu music and stare into the screen until I become immersed. I, I don't know what I was trying to say. It's just like I was I had a thought, but it kept fighting to get away from me and then I was just like okay let go of it I don't know oh I gotta push buttons to start <laughs> here we go why does it say a mystery mark on him it does does it want us to talk to him I gave you clear instructions did I not I don't know what's in this game I know the journey already started but I feel like once I cross this track to the other side of the city. There's no turning back. I feel like this is the point of no return. We did the first little bonus tutorial investigation to help them. But once we pass this line, I think we're going to be stuck with this game for a while. Only one answer to this type of problem, and that is just to move forward and embrace it. Oh my goodness, and there's a cutscene on top of it. What? I knew it was. A can of tomatoes? Just like that, his nightmares take him away to his new home. Now, how'd he get here if he collapsed and probably drowned himself in a puddle? That's interesting. Okay. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis, brothers. A Diary Part 1. I don't know what exactly sank the USS Cyclops. I only remember the screams and the metal creaking, water filling on the deck, and my headache, the worst I've ever had. I found myself among the floating seaweed, drowning. A nearby piece of boat helped me survive. I reached the shore, a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half mad and babbling about the ancient ruins and their descents. Denizens? Denizens. The official said none of what I thought I'd seen was real. But my memories are true. My strange powers gained after the ordeal prove it. I found something horrible on that island. Something old and dark and slithering. And it still haunts me. So that's a little bit of the story of his crew right here. Because he was, you know, he's a vet. And he lost all of his brothers here. And that's where it all started for him. And now he's here to investigate the dreams because now other people are having them all that we see or seen is just a dream without a dream within a dream <laughs> without a dream never again they say okay no matter how much of this I chug down the visions always return Oh, oh my good the yellow suit. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, story progress or investigator pack for some of them. Oh, that one's kind of cool. That's like camo. Oh, that one's pretty cool too. I know my friend DMM, he would he would definitely get this one. I hate that one. Um what was it? I saw I kinda like that one. I really just like the default one, to be honest. Interesting. What does that say about me? Raids on the Inmouthers. The number of attacks on the Inmouthers immigrants has increased. Raids are intensifying with more and more 
Innsmouthers exposed to abuse and assault. Sometimes whole families are found dead in their homes. Police are on the case with several illegal illegal Innsmouthers' business captured and their owners sent to jail. This city ought to have been cleaned of these fish-faced scum a long time ago, said Robert Thorg Martin. Head out to the Thorg Martin Grand family. I regret only one thing. It all started too late. We had no... Not neglected our civil duties, my son. Albert would still be here with us. Note from J. Vandenberg. Mr. Reed, it seems like you have over-exaggerated yourself while conducting the investigation for Mr. Thorg and Martin. Forgive me for the audacity, but I brought you to Devil's Reef while you were unconscious. Please take care of yourself in the future. I won't be there for you every time. Okay, so that that's how we got here. So he passed out, had his whole little nightmare. I bashed the door open with a shovel, and he carried me here. Alright. I'm happy we figured that part out. Because otherwise, I would have just been left wondering. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, so I can go into these doors. I always wait for doors to, like, have a little thing on it. I, it confuses me that these doors just let you walk through Makes them. Makes this place feel more like home. I miss Boston already. Charles W. Reed, private detective. Oh, it's his own room. Still don't know what any of this craftable stuff is used for yet. The nightmares. I boarded the window and locked the door. They are just men. Yellow King's gang. They can't be here now. Now there's only me. Me and these nightmares. A little longer and I'll figure them out. Okay. Keep it down, Mr. Archer. I've seen you dragging things into your room. Mind the floors. I'll make you pay for scratches. You leave your landlord. The door won't budge. Now, I could go up. Let's just look around here. If the stairs go down, yeah, we're going to go up. I want to investigate this building to the fullest before we go anywhere. Looks like that door wanted to open for a second. Yes, I was hoping that the door above that room would open. Too many condolences. So the lighthouse is out. Several ships have gotten lost at sea, and some are now decorating the city beaches. That's one thing, but now there's an imprisoning fellow at the city port hiring slavers to recover ships. He's turning a tidy profit from selling them. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look into it. Now, if only the city wasn't impossible to navigate. So there's a lot of secrets that you can get in this game. And I guarantee each one of those pieces of paper could help me with investigations in the future. Just hopefully I remember them at the right time. But I got a pretty good memory as long as I don't think about it. If I don't think about remembering it, I let it pass. Like right now, I can't remember it. But if I just wait until the right moment, it will click for me. Okay, let's go back down. His little potion of invisibility on his backpack. Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you though, mister, you want to stay on here? You stop making all that noise. I don't like those cuts on his neck. Um, what noise? Noise? What, what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, well... Next time it happens, you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Aren't we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stark raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting the kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you, no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. Did he just give me that all of those notes? 
<laughs> I don't think I'm going to read I'm all those. watching you, newcomer. Side things. Letters. Oh. My pack of notes. So is this the whole pack of notes? I kind I do want to read them, but I don't know. That's a lot. That might be a whole video of reading those. Screw it. I want to go. I I, I want to go hard into this game. So I'll either cut it out. If I don't find anything interesting, or I'm gonna leave it in. Here we go. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm gonna need a little bit of water for this one. And maybe. Just the hotel owner allowed me to look through the weird notes he found in the rooms of disappeared newcomers. Among them, I found several pages from the diary of a man describing his life in Oakmont. He suffered from visions and marked the places where they happened. He was trying to avoid them. So Lullaby Crossroad is one of these places. Today I fell asleep on the street. I'm sure it was connected to my vision somehow because I felt the same nausea and headache as before they strike. It happened in Coverside near the corner of the Tanner Street and Old Church Road. I felt dizzy and my mouth was full of bitter sweet taste. I saw a woman with kind eyes giving me a drink while whispering something. Immediately after that I fell asleep and spent nearly half the day lying in the dirt like a hobo. It's a miracle no one stole anything from me. Innsmouthers note. The local Innsmouthers scare me a lot. I've never seen a place with so many ill people. Their faces pursue me even in their visions. In visions. Recently I found the northern part of Grimhaven Bay, walking down Whispering Street. I barely made it into Huber Avenue when the visions came. I stood among Innsmouthers, disguised as one of them, listened to their leader, read the story of Captain participating in pagan rites, co-populating with savage witches and breasts, oh, and beasts, <laughs> bringing sacrifices. I still remember his name, Obed. All right. After this vision, I shake in fear. The sound of the child's cry it happened in Western Reed Heights on Washington Street. I passed Ilborn Street and was heading towards Oak Street, but I saw the thing was running so fast, didn't even understand what it was. I jumped from the window and the vision struck me immediately. I saw a man, a doctor, hiding in a room. He was writing something with the shaking hand, something like a last will. And then I saw the thing stalking him, a fetus on a thin pointy legs with a little face full of evil and hatred it's shrieking i can never forget from behind i can't help but turn around at any noise after i saw that yesterday i walk down murdoch avenue in western advent and near oak street i was hit with a extra excruciating migraine my nose started to bleed and the visions came i saw a man writing a letter and another about to strike him from behind. Somehow, I was both the spectator and the sitting man. But no matter how I cried out the warnings or tried to move, it didn't work. It seems I lost consciousness when the killer hit the man's head, and it took me several hours to get back to the hotel after. Voices from the pipes. I'm afraid of the bathroom and the kitchen sink. Each time I wash my hands, I tremble in fear. What if they talk to me? This began after the vision in Western Reed Heights near the crossing of Ebon Ward and the Baker Street. I saw a man naked covered in blood in a room without doors or windows, surrounded by dark holes in the pipes. He was cutting himself piece by piece, feeding those copper mouths. Oh, that's like the trailer when he's shaving his face and, the, and he's cutting off the tentacles. They were whispering with his voices, so sweet and promising, but full of hunger and hatred. How could he believe them? How could he even escape, and how did they notice me? Static in ears. I was walking in Lumbert Street in Eastern Reed Heights when it happened again. It was not just a vision, but a noise. Hissing radio static, growling louder and louder. Voices from afar were lost and crying desperately. I tried to show how bad it was. I was afraid to reveal it to the locals. The images came after I passed Bullock Street towards Hellog Street. This hissing flooded my mind as I saw a man surrounded by radios talking to them. He was dying, I felt it, and when it happened, the visions was gone. Call of the Ocean. Tonight, air forced me to leave the hotel. The putrid smell of rotting seaweed and fish made it hard to breathe. I remembered a huge apple tree and thought it may be nicer there. Moreover, I was afraid that the hotel owner would see my seizures. The visions occurred when I saw a few blocks from the apple tree. 
walking E. Brown Street in Central Shells. I felt like I was drowning. I ran forward when I passed the street of St. Michael's Church. I felt water surrounding me, pressing me, calling me. I needed my will to fight this desire, the desire to go mer and sink into the depths. Disgusting exhalation. No matter how different my visions may be, they're always so frightening. Today it was man. He left a house in Southern Ove Grove on Wardrick Street, somehow between Seaside and Hillside Streets. Our eyes met, and I immediately felt the burning exhalation. Exhalation. Oh my goodness. Why is that word tripping me up? A wild torrent of emotions. I saw him among the monsters, touching them, embracing them, kissing. The vision was so intense, I bent in two and threw up my breakfast. He walked past saying something like, Curse newcomers, and I prayed I wouldn't stop to help. Even now, when I close my eyes, I see the creatures around this man. Mirrors, mirrors. I'm afraid someone stalks me. It started when I visited Western Advert, and the vision at the intersection of the Prairie Road on Oak Street. I saw mirrors of reflections in someone trapped, trying to vain, trying in vain to escape his expression of fear and panic. Shook me deeply. After that, a very tall and skinny man started following me in the distance. What troubles me is that I see him in the reflections, but have never caught a straight view of the stalker. I'm sure the police will mock me if I come asking for protection. It seems like it's time to buy a good, trustworthy gun and start to practice. Lone Child The visions are testing me plain with my mind. My old forgotten fears come to life. When I was a small... Wait. When I was small, I was afraid to stay alone. I thought my parents would leave and never come back today i went to eastern streets cove side and the visions came on the corner of saint elmo lane and king sport street i felt alone forgotten a locked room hungry frightened it was scary to say inside but everything was so much worse behind the door something scratched in the corridor and there was terrifying screams from outside i could not run i could not hide i just waited for mom to return forlorn woman Oh, okay, I, I had it down and I was just like, that does not make sense as a word, okay. This city, no matter how badly the flood damaged it, has an unnatural appeal. I can't stop myself from walking, even if it means being struck further by visions. I went to Eastern Port of Salvation Harbor near the crossing of Fitzocallan Street and Old Church Road. It came to the feeling of loneliness. Fear was immense. I was a woman locked in a room, infected and slowly rotting. My body turned into something it itched badly in my face. I had to hold skin with both hands to prevent it from growing until I suffocated. I ended up sitting on the road until some in's mouth or kicked me and ordered me away. Okay, so there's a lot of weird stuff that happens around the city. So I'm assuming if I go to those exact streets and addresses, we'll get horrifying cutscenes. And I decided to skip out on that. Wait, is this the... This is the place you come into from the trailer of the game. One of the trailers, when you, like, wake up, you come in here, I see that up there. But there's, like, a little Cthulhu guy that's on the table. Alright, let's finally leave the Innsmouther Hotel. After gathering all the information we could, I think we're ready to step outside.